this video, let me consider one numerical on overlap and add method. Find output y of n of the filter whose impulse response h of n and the input signal x of n using overlap and add method. Assume the length of each block that is n is 6. So here the input sequence x of n is given which is x of n is equal to this one. The length, the number of samples in x of n are 10. Therefore, we can represent it as length of the sequence is say 10. h of n is given. So length of h of n is 3. There are 3 samples. That is m is equal to 3. Here n value is given. That is n is equal to 6. Now we know that n is equal to L plus M minus 1. So with the help of this we can find L. Therefore L will be equal to N minus M plus 1. That is N value is 6. M is 3 and plus 1 which is equal to 4. So therefore we have L equal to 4. So now in overlap and add method we have to divide the input sequence x of n into different blocks such that each block should have the length n is equal to 6. So let me consider the first block. I will represent it as x1 of n. So while writing x1 of n, we are supposed to consider first L samples of x of n. So here L value is 4. We have to consider first 4 samples of x of n. So the first 4 samples are 3 minus 1, 0 and 1. Let me write that. 3 minus 1, 0, 1. Now we have to make the length of x1 of n is equal to n. It is supposed to be 6. So now we are supposed to add m minus 1, 0. Here m value is 3. m minus 1 means 2. So we have to add 2 zeros. So now here we can see that the length of x1 of n is equal to 6. Similarly, now divide x of n into another block. I will consider it as x2 of n. The remaining 4 samples. Take next 4 samples. So here it is 3, 2, 0 and 1. That is 3, 2, 0 and 1. Here also we should make length of each block equal to n. So add 2 more zeros. That is m minus 1 zeros. m is 3. Therefore I am going to add 2 zeros. So still there are few samples in x of n. So we are supposed to take one more block. That is x3 of n is equal to. We have 2 and 1. That is 2, 1 of n should also be 6. So here only the remaining samples are 2 and 1. So we should make it length equal to 6 by adding 4 zeros. So now here we can see that all sub blocks are having n equal to 6. So here the length of h of n is 1, 1, 1. We should make the length of h of n is also equal to n equal to 6. Therefore, I can write h of n is equal to 1, 1, 1. Now we have to add l minus 1 zeros. That is 3 zeros, 0, 0, 0. So length of this is also now is equal to 6. So the next step is we have to perform the circular convolution between each sub block with h of n. So now perform x1 of n circular convolution with h of n. So I will perform the circular convolution using matrix method so that it will be easy. I will call it as y1 of n. So let me write y1 of n. I will put it in matrix form that is y1 of 0 y1 of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 because it is n is equal to 6 so we have 0 to 5. So now let me write x1 of n sequence that is 3 minus 1 0 1 0 0 that should be written in vertical 0 minus 1 we have 0, 1, then 0, 0. 
so now write the same sequence in reverse order in this way that is 0 0 1 0 minus 1 that is 0 0 then 1 0 1 0 then minus 1 so now just shift the sequence 3 should be written here this should be shifted here this is shifted here this is 1 this is 0 so this minus 1 will appear here shift this 0 0 1 this is 0 minus 1 3 0 0 1 0 minus 1 3 0 0 1 0 minus 1 and 3 so the h of n sequence should be written here that is h of n is 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 so now perform the multiplication between these two matrices which is equal to so row will be multiplied with the column that is 3 plus 0 plus 0 then here when we multiply these with zeros we will get 0 only 0 plus 0 plus 0 then minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 plus 3 plus all our zeros then we have 0 minus 1 plus 3 rest all our zeros fourth row is 1 0 minus 1 1 plus 0 minus 1 rest all our zeros then 0 1 0 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus rest all our zeros then we have 0 plus 0 plus 1 rest all our zeros so now therefore i can write y1 of n is equal to we have it is 3 then here 3 minus 1 is 2 here it is 3 minus 1 is 2 here it is 0 here it is 1 and here it is 1 so this is y1 of n sequence So now let me perform the convolution between x2 of n block with h of n. I will call it as y2 of n. So perform y2 of n is equal to x2 of n 6 h of n. Let me write the y2 of n column matrix y2 of 0, y2 of 1 y2 of 2, y2 of 3, y2 of 4, y2 of 5 is equal to now we have to write the x2 of n sequence which is 3, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0. 3, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0. So now write the same sequence in reverse order that is 0 0 1 0 2 0 0 1 0 2 so write 3 here this 0 shift here 1 0 2 3 0 0 1 0 2 3 0 0 1 is written here 0 2 3 0 0 1 0 2 it is 3 now write let me write the h of n sequence which is 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 now perform the matrix multiplication between these two matrices so only here 1 1 1 only first three values will be multiplied that is 3 plus 0 plus 0 rest all are 0 
in second row we have 2 plus 3 plus 0 2 plus 3 plus 0 rest all are 0 third row we have 0 plus 2 plus 3 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 in fourth row we have 1 plus 0 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 we have 0 plus 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 then here it is 0 plus 0 plus 1 0 plus 0 plus 0 so therefore now I can write y2 of n is equal to add this that is 3 the second row is 5 then we have 5 then it is 3 here it is 1 and here it is 1 so this is the y2 of n sequence so now we have the another sub block that is x3 of n now we have to perform circular convolution between x3 of n and h of n so now perform y3 of n which is equal to x3 of n h of n that is y3 of 0 y3 of 1 y3 of 2 3 4 5 is equal to now first write x3 of n sequence vertically that is 2 1 all zeros 2 1 0 0 0 0 now we have to write the same sequence in reverse order that is 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 so now just shift this 2 here 0 this 0 is here this 0 here this 0 here shift this one here 2 0 0 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 0 1 2 0 0 0 0 1 this 2 so h of n is 1 1 0 0 0 0 So let me perform the multiplication between these two matrices. So it is Z. So first term is 0, 2 only, rest all are zeros. Next row we have only first two values 1 plus 2, rest all are zeros. In third row we have only these two values that is 0 plus 1 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 then we have 0 plus 0 plus 1 rest all are zeros next we have all values are zeros next we have all values are zeros so therefore now i can write y3 of n is equal to the first row where first value is 2 next one is 3 next one is 3 next we have 1 next two are zeros so this is y3 of n sequence now let me write all output sequences once again that is y1 of n is equal to so already we have found y1 of n that is 3 2 2 0 1 1 3 2 2 0 1 1 let me write y2 of n sequence that is given by 3 5 5 3 1 1 3 5 5 3 1 1 and y3 of n sequence is 2 3 3 2 3 
थ्री वन जीरो जीरो नाउ लेट मी राइट द फाइनल आउटपुट सिक्वेंस वाई ऑफ एन इट कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज वाई ऑफ एन इज इक्वल टू सो हियर द लास्ट एम माइनस वन सिक्वेंस हियर एम इज इक्वल टू थ्री एम माइनस वन मीन्स टू लास्ट टू सिक्वेंसिस दैट इज दीज टू सिक्वेंसिस आर ओवरलैप्ड विथ दीज टू सिक्वेंसिस then these two sequences are overlapped with these two sequences first let me write these two values this four values as it is that is 3 2 2 0 now this one is added with this 3 that is overlap and add method that is 4 then this one is added with 5 it will be 6 next two samples 5 and 3 will be written as it is 5 and 3 now this one is added with this that is 3 this one is added with this that is 4 remaining samples written as it is that is 3100 3100 3100 or i can write the final output sequence y of n is equal to ignoring these two zeros that is 3 2 2 0 4 6 5 6 Three and one. So this is the output y of n.